Hello Cancer and welcome to your general reading for July 2020. So I'm excited to do this reading for you today and we're going to use two powerful decks of cards, the Archangel Power Tarot and the Work Your Light. There's also going to be a reading on here for Single Cancer and for a Twin Flames. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. And we are going to be doing a daily reading for you as well, Cancer, all throughout your birthday month. So I'm super excited also because I'm a Cancerian. So I'm excited to see what messages come up for us for the month ahead. So let's see then. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for cancer? What's cancer going to be going through in July? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for cancer, please? Wow, okay. Let's have a look then, cancer. Wow. Okay, we've got birth in a new age. I love this. So there's a new world being born right now. We may not like it. We may not understand it, but we have to go with it. So this is showing you things are changing in the world and you're giving birth right now to a new part of your life, to new beginnings, fresh starts, birthing new creation. So things are happening for you. Things are falling into place. Beautiful things ahead. Dreaming a new world into being. So remember, whatever's going on in the world, whatever feeling you have about what's going on out there, you create your reality in your mind because your thoughts become things. So this is also letting you know that you are a creator and reminding you of that energy. We've got Anna, the grandmother of Jesus. Wow, sending the light or seeding the light. So this says seeding the light, but as usual, the angels turn the writing around for me as I channel it, sending the light. So it's seeding the light, which means you're creating light within you, but you're sending that light out to others. You're sending that vibration of healing and kindness and love and compassion out to others. And it's starting to heal the world laying foundations, divine plans. So you're laying your foundations right now. You're setting intentions and you're setting out your plans. So I feel you're creating something this month, Cancer. You're moving towards something new. And this is the time now to create the plans of what you want to bring in. We've also got Get Grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. So this is another sign here that you're an empath, a light worker, an angel on the earth, that you're, you've are you got a reason for being here. So you also have to stay grounded because sometimes we can give so much of ourselves, especially as a Cancerian, that we need to shield, we need to recharge, we need to let go. So the angels are saying, make sure you're going out in nature to replenish yourself, to recharge your batteries and to feel good. And we've got you're already doing it. Wow. So if you're sitting there cancer thinking, what's my life purpose? What am I meant to be doing right now? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? The angels are saying to you, you're already doing it. You're already on purpose. You're already on path. So beautiful. So stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So as long as you're doing what you love, following your passions, being authentic, being you, you're being guided where you're meant to go. So this is a huge sign you're on the right path. So don't overthink it and release fear. They're giving me that burpy energy of fear. So if you're overthinking everything right now and you're worried about what's going on, trust that you're on the right path. You're already doing what you're meant to be doing. Go in nature, cleanse your energy and you'll feel better. Wow, we've got the moon and the moon is all about illusion and fear. So you're rising above that this month, Cancer. And this is the opportunity to improve your plans. So if things haven't been going right for you, now's the time to change it, to set new intentions, to change your direction, to move forward, to listen to your intuition for accurate guidance and to face your fears and grow stronger. So you're growing stronger you're becoming more powerful, you're tuning in with you, you're listening to your intuition, your power and your strength and Archangel Michael is doing the rest. So Archangel Michael Cancer is around you this month, zapping out any toxic energy. He's there with his sacred vacuum cleaner and he's sucking up all the toxic energy. 
you know, any negativity, any darkness, anything that's been dragging you down, he's sucking it all away and it's making room for the light because you're shining the light. This situation doesn't serve you. So anything that no longer serves you, now's the time to move on. Now's the time to release, to let go because a new world is coming. So any negative beliefs or patterns, let them go. Allow Archangel Michael to suck them up into his sacred vacuum and to bring in healing. Release your attachment to the outcome. So anything you're wanting to happen, anything you're asking for, release, let go. Let go of the outcome. Allow the universe to move it towards you. Trust in who you are and know that there's something better coming in. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So make sure cancer this month, you're keeping your vibration high. You're keeping your thoughts positive. You're thinking positive things, speaking words of power because your mouth has the power to harm or heal. And your harmony you can heal yourself with the things you say, the thoughts you think. So make sure you're your biggest fan this month, egging yourself on. Because there's childhood coming up here. So you've got childhood issues you may be facing this month going within. Healing things from the past as well. And you're also embracing your inner child. So you're being guided to move towards a new beginning. Towards new adventures. Powerful fresh starts coming in for you. New friendships or rekindled relationships. So this is showing you here someone from the past could come back. It could be a friendship or a lover. It could be your twin flame, but somebody's going to pop up from the past and you have to heal that connection and heal it with love, with compassion, because you're moving forward into a new world. And that may also be connected with Archangel Michael sucking up the negatives or the toxic things, anything connected with the past, anything that needs closure, it feels like it's going to come up for you this month, Cancer. So, People are going to creep up from the past. You could have an ex knocking on your door, ringing you up and using saying, well, I would have contacted you sooner, but, you know, there's been this pandemic going on. So it feels like things are shifting and changing, but it's all happening. So you can clear things up to prepare for this amazing new beginning because you're giving birth right now to a new world. There's power coming in and you're dreaming a new world into being. So I also feel, Cancer, you've been manifesting and creating, visualizing. Maybe you've had a vision board and you've been putting things out there. Well, this is a huge sign that everything you've been asking for, everything you're creating, everything you're visualizing and working towards, it's all being birthed now. So it's coming in. It's been manifest. It's been created. It's been birthed into life. So just be very compassionate with yourself this month. Be gentle with yourself, generous with yourself. Make sure you're looking after yourself as well because it all begins with you. So if you feel like things are a bit out of control, go in the garden, go and walk in nature, breathe in the air. If you can get by water, get by water because you're a water sign and you're connected to the ocean. So if you can get near the ocean or by a river or a stream, and if not, maybe play some sounds of the water and close your eyes and visualize it washing all over you. You know, visualize it purifying you and cleansing you because that will help you to feel good and it will boost your immune system and your power. And the angels are also saying, make sure you're drinking plenty of water because it will flush everything out. So I feel you're also going through a purification this month, a cleansing, a healing, and it's going to bring and make way for all the amazing things to come. So if any waves come up this month for you, Cancer, breathe release, let go, trust and know that you have the power to achieve your dreams. Have a great day, a magical month and I'll see you soon.